Welcome back, or I guess I should be saying hello because this is my first YouTube video that I've done in years. Um, I wanted to kind of re-kickstart this platform um, just to give you guys another place to see my process, the materials I use, the tutorials that I want to make because the future of TikTok is very much up in the air and I don't want to lose contact with you guys. So this is the first time lapse that I've done from beginning to end in a very long time and um, it's from the anime One Piece which personally I have never seen but um, I'm making this for a good friend of mine. So essentially with this video you get a little bit more of insight into how it is that I tackle the big um, what we call like white canvas phobia, um, which is when you're not able to start because you don't know where to start because there's just so many things going on. Um, so to combat that, I have a couple rules that I always use. Um, I always work from background to foreground um, because it just separates itself into layers if you think about it. Um, so with this piece, I started with the little um, piece of sky that was peeking out in the background and then I worked forward with each individual cloud layer until I got to the very front. So one of the things that I get asked the most is my technique unblending, um, which I have spent many years trying to perfect because I have an obsession with like smooth blending with colors and everything. So um, for me in the beginning I didn't even realize like that it was a thing and I didn't know how to explain it. But the best way that I can describe my technique is to work from lightest to darkest because um, when you put the colors down it is easier to blend darker colors into lighter colors than the other way around. Um, but for this painting I just use paint, no additives, but um, ordinarily I use a uh, blending additive that kind of turns it into a slower drying time and um, makes it more like an oils type consistency. And of course I'm going to make an updated supply video to show you the new one that I use, um, but that is very important for when I'm blending skin tones especially. For this piece it wasn't as important because a little bit of texture was actually going to be good for it. But all in all, if you're having issues with blending, the odds are that you're not using enough paint, so try being a little more generous with the paint on the canvas um, so that it has a longer drying time so that you have time to blend it more. I really tried to do my best with this piece to make it as cohesive as possible, and one of my biggest tips and tricks behind that is to implement all of the colors of your palette kind of into each other a little bit. Um, so you can see on the ship especially that I integrated that blue-gray as the shadow on the sail and as the um, silver part on the ship. So doing just little details like that that will bring those colors back in really ties the piece together and it honestly takes quite a bit of practice because my art teacher in high school told me this and I still didn't really get it down until college. So it takes practice and some messing around, but once you learn how to do it, it really helps improve the quality and it makes it feel more complete. It's really difficult to go outside of your comfort zone with different subjects, but I'm lucky enough that the commissions and custom orders that I get are very, very diverse, and there are things that I haven't even seen myself before, like this painting. And the more diverse subjects you paint, the better your technique improves. Yes, it's good to master one subject, and when you find your thing, by all means, if you want to stick with it, you should. But one of the things that's been very important to me as an artist is not to lock myself into one subject or one thing. So if you want to follow along to see all these awesome things that I have planned, um, you can feel free to subscribe and I will have all of my socials below.